Hey friends, I am Siddharth. Today I will show you the Selenium framework we have created to run Selenium scripts parallel and sequential on local desktop machine, node desktop machine, real android mobile devices and browser stack and source lab browsers. In this framework we have developed one user interface which helps you to choose on which browsers, device or machines you want your scripts to run on. This interface will be integrated into the framework therefore you will not have to dig into your code and comment some of the test of browsers where you don't your test to run on. You can simply select and deselect the browsers checkbox from the user interface itself. In this framework we have used Java, Selenium Web Driver, API, APM, Selenium Greed, TestNG, Maven and ReportNG for report generation. I have followed page object model approach. Uh, you can see these are the pages and its uh, objects. Its main benefit is it makes your code more readable, maintainable and reusable. This is a data driven framework where the values for invalid and valid logit credentials, expected validation messages, add product form data and add category form data etc are being fetched from the excel sheet. I will show you that excel sheet. You can see these are the datas which are going to fetched by our script and used uh, in the application while doing test execution. Okay. The purpose of demonstrating this video is we know many testers find difficulty especially when they have to run their test on local desktop machines, node desktop machines, mobile devices, browser stack and source lab cloud browsers simultaneously. In this video I will run some scripts that includes scenarios of invalid login credentials and verifying the validation messages, adding products, adding categories and deleting them. I cannot show you the execution of all the test scripts on all browsers as it will take long time to execute, especially on browser stack and source labs browsers. Sometimes it takes 8 to 10 minutes to just execute a simple add product or category scenarios. This is very frustrating actually and it's a, a problem from browser stack and source labs. I talked with their support and they have been telling that they are working on the same. So what I'll do is I'll show you the script starts running on different browsers which I've set and then we'll show the report that what test cases were executed and what are the status of them through a report ng report. I'll explain the report in detail to you people. Now let's connect different machines and Android device to my local machines. You can see this is my another machine node machine which is connected remotely and these are the two Android devices. One is Samsung Grandiose and HTC One which are connected through a TeamViewer quick support app. Here you can see I am logged into a browser stack and source labs uh, website to check the scripts are working fine on cloud or no, not. Uh, you will need to create a, a browser stack or a source labs account in order to run your scripts on cloud browsers. This is my greet console where you can see uh, node machine and android devices are connected using selenium greed. I have done this way so that you guys can see everything from my local machine only. Uh, now I will run a test script on all the browsers. You can see this user interface where I have configured some uh, uh, checkboxes for the browsers where I want my test to run on. Right now I have configured few browsers that includes local and node machines, FF and Chrome browsers, Android devices, Chrome browsers, source labs, Safari browser and browser stacks, i browsers. Along with select all checkbox which selects all the uh, browser checkbox then run button it will run the test then sequential and parallel. Currently I will keep a parallel radio button keep on so that all the tests would run parallel. Now I will check the checkbox select all and it will select all the browsers test. Now I'll click on run button. It will start execution parallelly on all the browsers. In local desktop machine the script would execute on Chrome and Firefox browsers. In node desktop machine the script would execute on Firefox browsers and in mobile devices it will execute on Chrome browsers. In browser stack it will execute on i and in source lab it will run in Safari. However, you can add more browsers also if you want to. Now I'll click on run button. You can see the scripts have been uh, started running on uh, different browsers. This is my local uh, machines Chrome browser. This is my local machines Firefox browser. 
this is the uh, HTC device Chrome browser this is Samsung Grand Duos Chrome browser this is a uh, node machines Firefox browser uh, and this is this one is a uh, browser stacks i11 on windows 8.1 browser this one is source labs browser where the test is running on mac machine safari browser you can see the different tests are running on different uh, devices see there are total like eight test cases which includes uh, scenarios of uh, invalid credentials blank credentials then adding category adding products and you can see everything is running on all the machines this node again this is another device this is another device this is local chrome this is local firefox this is source lab max safari you can see uh, how slow browser stack and source lab are because uh, in local and node machine mobile devices already two or three test cases got completed but here on this cloud browsers just one test case got completed it took two minutes to just uh, complete one login scenario login test case sorry and in source labs it's still running first test case it just got completed see you can this these are the verifying I'm showing you people this so that you people can get idea how uh, the my tests are running on different machines and different browsers see another test case got started Samsung then this one is another this is Firefox Uh, now the execution is completed and we'll check the results and evaluate the report so this is the report as you can see the scripts are passed on all the desktop browsers and devices browsers successfully except on source lab safari browser why it got failed let's uh, investigate about that this is a report ng report you can see in left bar it displays different test names like test on local windows chrome test on node windows chrome etc green right mark besides the test indicates the test and its all methods are passed and red indicates the failed one on the right side of the sidebar the test result report is displayed which shows the past failed and skip methods and, cla and classes duration and pass repeat rip rate of the test the numbers having green background shows the past method and red shows the number of failed ones. Now when I click on any test for example test on node windows firefox it will show me a detailed report of the methods executed on the same browsers. It shows past classes and its method with duration. I also put logs of the action steps you can see it here these are the logs. If I click on it, I can be able to see the screenshot of that action step. We saw one test case was getting failed in Source Labs Safari uh, browsers. To see why it was failed, uh, click on Test Source Labs Safari test. You can see it shows two failed methods. Just check the logs where the test got failed. It clearly shows that test got failed while deleting category and deleting product. Uh, there must have been an issue in application when user tries to delete category or product in Safari browser. 
since I'm aware about the application, when user deletes product and category, it prompts a pop-up uh, pop message. So here in Safari, there must have been some problem in displaying that pop-up. Let's check this manually. Now we are into a Source Labs uh, uh, Safari browser, which is running on Mac machine. Uh, you can see I opened a website in Safari browser and uh, already navigated to a delete category listing page to show you people and that uh, what's the issue. Uh, now we'll try to delete a category. I click on delete a ca delete category link. I just clicked it. You can see when I clicked on delete category link, it's not working and it doesn't prompt a confirmation message in pop-up to delete a category. Uh, same thing goes when I try to delete a product. So, so what's the issue is I'll show you people the difference by showing in a Chrome browser where this functionality is working totally fine. So this is the Chrome browsers and this is the category listing page. Now I'll click on delete category. You can see here it uh, shows me a pop-up message which uh, uh, which confirms me to delete a uh, uh, category or not. Uh, so uh, it's a clear thing that uh, uh, the delete functionality is not working on the Mac machine Safari browser. Now you just saw how test can be run parallelly on all the browsers I configured. Now I will select only two browsers from the user interface and show you how our test will run only on the selected browsers without going into code and comment some of the test. This is our UI where we will select only two browsers. For example, I will select local machines Chrome browser and local machines FF browsers and uh, click on run button. Test for others browsers would be skipped. You can see my uh, tests are now running only on my local machines browsers. This is the Firefox browser and this one is for Chrome browsers. Since I checked only uh, two checkboxes for local machines browsers, it will run my test only on two browsers with the help of that user interface. Same way uh, you can also run your test sequentially uh, if you select the sequential radio button from the user interface I have developed. You can also run this user interface if you have configured Jenkins build tool in your project. When you click on build now button, it will prompt the UI and you can select your browsers. But make sure you are doing necessary ch changes and configure node machines, mobile devices and cl cloud browsers before running test. So this is what I have done so far. I am uh, still working on the uh, looks of user interface as currently it's uh, not much attractive and it, uh, it has some uh, UI issues and also will implement some more new things. If you want to achieve the same then you can contact me at my email address or you can also ping me at Skype ID which you can see on the screen. I'll definitely answer your queries as soon as I read your emails or see pings. Thanks for watching the video and let me know if you have any queries. Bye bye guys.